Our second guest today is Carolyn Carey, director of the Community Center. And Carolyn has a host of things that she wants to bring to our attention. Right, Carolyn? I do. Thanks for letting me come <clears throat> in. Before we start talking about the Community Center um, and the things that we have, I wanted to take just a moment on behalf of the Community Center to say congratulations on the Selectman's race um, and all the other races that were held here at the mm -hmm. Community Center and to sincerely thank uh, the outgoing Selectman Linda Sabula for all she has done. She was a great help to the Community Center and we know that she will be very, very visible in town but she, we really wanted to take a moment to publicly thank her. She was very helpful to the Community <coughs> Center. Who won for those of us who don't know? Those of you who don't know there were um, uh, Julie Cavanaugh and Mike McCaskill are the new select people in town. Mm, so, okay. but really, we want to, uh, on behalf of the community center, take just a moment to publicly say thank you. Now, so, were one of them were there three that were up for real? Nope, two. Just two. Yeah, that's correct. <clears throat> and were any of them re-voted back in? Mr. McC Mr. McCaskill, Mike McCaskill. He was, and then yes. Virginia is new. Uh, uh, Julie. Julie. Yes, no. that's correct. <clears throat> okay. So back to the community <clears throat> center. Um, be, with things like that, it just shows us that the new year is approaching, the new fiscal year, which means it's, you know, June is going to be here right around the corner, <laughs> my goodness. Um, which it's our, you know, every year, every time I say, oh, that's my favorite time there, it's my favorite time. I've just come to learn that I just love being here. So, <laughs> well, July uh, begins a new year for the town. It does. So mm. in June, people start signing up for things. And so just a little reminder, if you're interested in the weight room, we have different programs that you might want to sign up for. We do do the yearly membership, but we have seasonal ones too, weekly, monthly, Take a look at our website because we do have information on all of those. We also have the cocoa machine, but just a reminder that that'll be coming up uh, and you can sign up for that starting uh, in June for the new fiscal year. Um, and as a reminder, if you have not booked your room for your club or organization, we are filling up fast, especially in the summer months. A lot of people using some of the rooms, so make sure to do that. And we would like to thank the Chamber of Commerce who partners with us and puts out our monthly calendar in the Chronicle. We get so much feedback about how helpful that is to people. Mm -hmm. So again, the <coughs> Chamber of Commerce, who also did a fabulous event, um, the, the trolley tour trolley around town, tour, that yes. was great and yes. started from here. So it was lovely to get to see so many people. <coughs> Uh, but look for our calendar of events inside the Chronicle. We do a monthly one. And then we print that schedule, and you can pick it up here. We put it on our website as well. So uh, if you're looking for what's happening each month inside the Community Center, it's in the Chronicle on our website, um, and we make that available to you. And just as a side note, because people ask me on a regular basis, the Wild Care Yard Sale is coming up, and that is on June 11th, so that'll be right around the corner, too. So we have quite a bit of things coming up, and it's almost time to start renewing and getting ready for the new fiscal year. So it's now a busy is, time. What does the Wild Care mean? The Wild Care does a yard sale each year inside the community center, and they raise money for wildlife. Okay, so yeah, that that's not wild. us. That's just a group that does it. Okay. But it's a very popular yard sale, and they're in the gym, and um, it's one that people look forward to every year. But we also do a yard sale uh, for clubs and organizations, and we've sent out that information. But that's in August, so okay. that will be coming up too. Again, all this information, <laughs> I know I keep throwing it all out there, but I know people like to kind of put them down on their calendars and get dates ready. We do list them on our website, um, and if you need more information on any of them, don't hesitate to give us a call. We're happy to fill you in as much as we can when we get the dates um, from the clubs and organizations who are booking. We're happy to pass it on. So. so that's everything? I think that's it for now. I feel that like I'm just now? throwing all this information <laughs> out at you. Uh, mm -hmm. If there are things that you'd like to see at the community center that you're not seeing, don't hesitate to give us a call. We do have the suggestion box. We would like to thank some of our volunteers who are planting in the flower boxes out front. 
Um, we'll take some photos of those with the help of Channel 18, who are always amazing, and uh, show you some of the work that's being done by some volunteers. So thank you again, and thanks for letting me come on. Well, it's always a pleasure to have you, and we're very glad to see you. Thank you. Oh, and thank you for all the news.